Readers, today we were going to learn about monitoring our comprehension by stopping when we are confused and taking action to help us understand what we are reading. Today's lesson is important because to you as readers, because sometimes when you're reading, you're not making any mistakes, but you're not always understanding what you are reading. Today, I'm going to show you how to stop and select a fix-up feature to use when you are confused when you are reading. Here are some of these strategies now. Read, reread, or read on. Ask yourself a question. Use text features so you can use pictures in the books or any other text feature to help you understand what you're reading. Make a connection. This means you use something you already know that connects to something in the book to help you better understand. Or replace the words you don't know with words that make sense. Watch me as I show you how I stop, make note of where I'm confused, and select a fix-up strategy to use to help me better understand what I am reading. Goldie the dog was asleep when noise woke her up. What was that noise? Something was outside. Goldie ran to the door and began to scratch at it. Woof, woof, barked Goldie. Woof, woof. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Chelsea woke up. She could hear Goldie scratching and barking at the front door. Go back to sleep, Goldie, she said. Goldie scratched at the door again. Okay, said Chelsea. She got out of bed and went down the hall to the front door. Hmm, I'm stopping here because I'm confused. Why is Goldie barking at the door? So I am going to make a note. Why did Goldie keep barking at the door? Now I've stopped and made a note. I'm going to look at my fix-up strategies and see what I could use to help me better understand. So read, ask a question, make a connection. I'm going to first try rereading to see if this will help me understand. Goldie the dog was asleep when a noise woke her up. What was that noise? Something was outside, right there. It helped me understand that she was barking and scratching at the door because she heard a noise outside and might have wanted to get out. All right, readers, that was how I have used the fix-up strategies. Now you are going to try. So you can look at this same thing and note what were you confused about or didn't understand. And then what strategy are you going to use to help better understand this? Now go ahead and pause here and tell a family member, friend, or stuffed animal, or even yourself where you were confused and what fix-up strategy you use and then come back and we'll see if we use similar ones. All right, readers, welcome back. I hope you got a chance to share with your family member or friend or stuffed animal about your fix-up strategy. For me, I noticed that I was confused by, by what they meant about scratch, scratch, scratch at the door. What did they mean by that with Goldie? So what I chose to do is I use the fix-up strategy to make a connection. So I thought about how when I have an itch, I use my nails and hand to scratch it. And I thought that's kind of like maybe what Goldie was doing when she was using her, her claws and her paws to scratch out the door to say she wanted to go out. Very good work, readers. So now, today what I taught you is how to stop when you are confused Take action by using a fix-up strategy to help you understand what you are reading. So when you go off to complete your work on Seesaw today, you will be practicing how to use these fix-up strategies to take action because this will help you to better understand what you are reading.